maraming nasa langit, dakilang pinagmula ng lahat at siyang tamang daan. Kami po ay taus pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng biyaya na iyong ipinagkaloob sa amin. Salamat po sa araw na ito at sa pagkakataong kami ay muling makapag-aral. Nawa po ay gabayan mo kami na aming maunawaan ang bawat aralin na ibabahagi ng aming mga guro. Patnubayan mo ang bawat isa sa amin na maisa-isip at maisa puso ang bawat aralin na aming matututunan sa araw na ito. Upang ito ay magamit namin sa pagtupad ng aming mga pangarap. Gabayan niyo po kami sa araw-araw at bigyan ng lakas at usay sa pagharap sa bawat pagsubok na darating sa aming buhay. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you so much. Uh, this time, uh, may I call on, without further ado, our first speaker for this uh, morning's orientation on DEPED Partnership Database System or DPDS. Uh, she is the Education Program Specialist 2 for Social Mobilization and Networking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome uh, Ma'am Jennifer Gay L. Rawan. Alright, so uh, good morning everyone. So over 400 plus viewers, live viewers for this um, first ever online orientation on DepEd Partnership Database System. So I know that um, some of you, I know not really some of you but almost all of you, um, first time ninyo ni ma-encounter ang DPDS. So what really is DPDS? No? So uh, by the way, for those who have texted me, on the link for the attendance sheet we will give the attendance sheet later na no after i know we will not we will not announce what time but um maybe after or later na lang no after sa mga topics so uh, online orientation on dep ed partnership database system so our participants for this um are the Adapt as school coordinators, the Brigada Escuela coordinators, and the ICT coordinators. So, our first topic will be overview of the reporting system for partnerships. So, how data sheet, how was this developed? Uh, first is chartering of the external partnership service. So, in your schools, we have you have what we call this adapt as school coordinator so if ever there are donations or programs and projects 
that are supported by external stakeholders. So, kamo na siya ang adapt school coordinators. And then, knowledge management on partnerships as EPS KRA. So, this is how it started sa central office. And then, also after that, they have uh, conducted consultations during the national orientation and capacity building activities. Also, they have revisited and harmonized template forms from the central office. So, overview lang siya, guys. And then, we have also beta tested, and they have also beta tested, and uh, they have conducted several workshops during that uh, time. So, kanos na gini siya nagsugod uh, way back four years ago. So, they have also have conducted pilot testing and adjustments. Kung unsa gid ka importante ang consolidate of data you know, using the online platform so uh, this was uh, the picture of them you no know? so sila ang mga pilot um, test pilot schools tested so we have the deped ncr or the nayap from marikina city conducted last december 7 to 9 2016 so um, that was four years ago so, um, these are the attendees for the workshop, no? So, from the central office, they have 12 personnel coming from central office, uh, 16 from regional partnership focal person. We have one from the DepEd Region 10, which was represented by uh, the Lano del Norte. And then, we have also 12 from the division partnership focal person, and then 6 school heads. So, sila lang ay identify for the pilot of the uh, online platform for the DepEd partnership, online database system. So as you can see now, the, the, this is the uh, picture showing their pilot testing, they conduct with like seminars. So, what are the objectives for this workshop? So, first is, kanong kamu ang gikinahanglan because we have the Brigada Escuela coordinators because as you, as you know that um, mostly of most of the donations and partnerships done is during the Brigada implementation. And then the rest is Brigada Plus which is conducted on af before and after the Brigada implementation week. So, uh, you sh should have Identify data requirements and partnerships for basic education. So, uh, it is expected from you that you all already have the data of the uh, partnerships, the donations, the sponsors, uh, during, after, or even uh, the Brigada Escuela uh, implementation. And then revisit the existing reporting tools and mechanisms in the external partnerships. Then beta test and discuss. So these were their objectives. So this morning we will um, we will discuss kaunsa sa division level atong need ng mga requirements and how to, uh, to to conduct this online orientation in your schools. So the key findings from that um, from that. Um, pilot pilot testing is this so from the central office from the region from the division and from the school so let's go directly to the school level not to make this uh, short um, still the same with the uh, central office uh, you should have the findings on the resource gaps of your schools it's just like uh, making in your SIP diba? so in making your SAP, you have identified the gaps in your school and how to improve your school in the next three years. So, by the way, for the SAP next year, we'll be, we will be conducting another um, implementation or planning planning orientation for for all the schools in the Division of Bukidon 2021 to 2024. So, in the school level, you should have the inventory of school facilities. So, pwede mo makiglink ani sa inyohang mga inventory officer or the property custodian officer 
um, you should have uh, the data on your SBM, no? So, kung sa mga level nga school, maybe your school last year was level 1, level 2, level 3. So, the next column will be partnership identification. So, in partnership identification, um, you should have listed at least the existing partners of your school. So, you Yun yung mga school na nag-donate 3 years ago, 2 years ago, last year, or just uh, recently. So, you should have that um, list of partners. Not only the list, but also including their contact numbers, their address, and the headings to be written in your letters. And then, after that, after identifying your existing partners, you should have... Uh, identified also your uh, possible partners for your school. So, yun yung mga prospect uh, partners in you for your school. Not only uh, in your within your community, but pwede rin nga um, from abroad, from other places, no? So, you could also use the the magic of networking. So, we believe that each one of you have um, friends, di ba? You have Facebook friends or you have close friends. So, uh, all the teachers actually can generate resources from their Facebook friends. But so, how will you conduct that one? Uh, depending on that your project proposal. So, it is a no-no that you will write directly a solicitation letter because it, um, alam nyo naman, di ba, na branding yung teacher na solicitors, which is very bad image for the deaf ed personnel, di ba? So, um, it is best recommended to make project proposal first. So, ano yung laman na project proposal? That would be rationally, yung proponents. Proponents means yung tao na nagawa ng project proposal. So, sa rationally, you should have identified the geographical information of your school. So, it should have, uh, let's, let's say, how many kilometers away from the highway. Um the enrollment of your school, the economic status of the parents, basic rationalis in your school. And then problems, why make project proposal? So from that project proposal alone, it could be one to two pages. And then doon, pag, pag, pagkakita na inyong uh, possible partners, uh, lahat na nanando doon kung magkano budgetary requirements. So yun yung project proposal. So list of possible partners, and list of existing partners. And then third column is form of agreement. So it could be minutes of meeting, project information, memorandum of agreement, or uh, a deed of donation or deed of acceptance. And then the fourth one is the monitor and evaluation. So we have the school monitor evaluation and adjustment. You also have conducted annual school report card, which is done by your principals. Uh, for last year, nag uh, conduct tayo ng SRC uh, at the end of the school year. Uh, usually, March ito nagaganap, no? So, school improvement plan, annual improvement plan, EBIS, and KPIs. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have already discussed this uh, slide, which are the solicitation, request letter, resolutions. But uh, with our experience, no, it is best to have project proposal. And then after the project proposal, siguro kung mag-commit na si partner, saka na tayo mag-make ng solicitation letter or request letter. And then also for programs like for example, you have uh, problems in your school like uh, dropouts or pupils who are escaping from from classes, no? So, you can make uh, resolutions, barangay resolutions for this to be done by your principal na magsisit in during the barangay meeting. So, during that time, pwede siya mag uh, make ng resolutions together with the barangay officials. So, during the pilot of the online orientation, we have various similar data are required in multiple number of forms. These are their key findings. And then, 
form of agreements, project timeline, number of beneficiaries, and partners information are not taken into account in various existing forms. So, ito yung key findings natin. So, yun ang reason bakit tayo nag-conduct ng online, di ba? Kasi yung nakaugalian natin, yung culture natin sa DepEd, is yun nga, solicit lang agad without um, without seeking the ideas and concepts from the community, di ba? So, sila, sila, at sila yung mas nakakaalam kung saan nag escape yung mga students during the classes, di ba? It could be that they are in the internet cafes or in the billiard or in the uh, doon lang sa backyard na nagkanangkuan kanagagasaka lang ang mga bayaba so they are the best ones who can identify the solution to the problem of the school and then form of agreements also it, it is also um, essential di ba kasi pag walang form of agreements na nag nagagawa natin during the agreement it could be verbal but it would be best if there are form of agreements like written agreements talaga and then project timeline number of beneficiaries and partners information so dito tayo nag nagkaroon ng problema in uh, finding partners in school in most cases forms are manually reported gathered and consolidated in each level of DepEd so forms lang uh, written forms Diba? So, with the advent of the technology, we could make this uh, consolidation in a better way. Another key finding is with the DepEd rationalization program, positions responsible for partnerships. So, dito na nag-come in si SGOD of the Division of Bukidnon and other positions who could uh, give more focus on the physical of the school. Diba? So, that is how the CID and SGOD sections of the Division of Bukidnon are created. Next one is simplification of consolidation and reporting. Procedures must be done given the workload of the regional focal persons. And the next one is the reporting and consolidation timelines must be synchronized and strictly followed because of the certification requirements. So, just like this uh, activity, no, you are 400 plus. Uh, we are expecting 649 times 3. That would be the, uh, supposedly, the audience for this, diba? So, how can, do, yung wala dito ngayon, how can they uh, report their um, partnership data in their school if hindi sila na-attend nito ngayon, diba? So, this is very important because uh, medyo techy yung pag uh, ay Later, Sir Daryl Macari will discuss on that uh, online database. So, congratulations for those who have attended because you will receive first-hand information from our ICT coordinator and from uh, the social mobilization. So, partnership data sheets. So, uh, as you can see, no, so this is an Excel type. So, ako lang ni siyang gipakita para lang na mo'y mak na lang mo'y guide kung saan sulit aning data sheets. So, we have the fiscal year. We have the quarter report. So, every quarter kasi mag-generate tayo ng data from you. So, uh, we will be strictly monitoring also the schools who have not um, submitted the their their data for the partnerships. no So, through this online, madali naming ma-monitor, -ma madali nating ma-monitor. At the same time, madali mas mapapadali din yung monitoring ninyo sa inyo ha, sa inyong mga partners. And we will also have the school ID, the offering prepared by position designation contact number. So we will discuss this further later. So from the first column, we have the partner name, for example, Kasilak Foundation Incorporated that is from the Dole. And then, general partner type, we have the remarks, specific partner type, and then the partner contact details. This is important. Diba? How could you contact with your partner if you don't have the, their contact numbers or their Facebook pages? And then, we also have the certification type. And then, the last uh, part or category of this data is the partnership agreement. So, Forms of agreement, it could be deed of donation, 
Sana nag take 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 down notes kayo diyan no. So it could be deed of donation, it could be um, memorandum of understanding or memorandum of agreement. And then we have the signatory name, project category, project name. So yung project name kayo yung mag create ng name sa inyong project. And then agreement and then remarks. So yun yung ito yung laman ng ating partnership data sheets. So what is the what is this partnership data sheets? It is a harmonized and simplified data gathering and reporting tool on schools external partnership. So as I've said earlier no, uh, it it is a simplified data gathering talaga for your school. It aims to capture information on all partnership initiatives within DepEd to strategically address resource gaps in basic education delivery. Lahat ng naman ng ano ng laman na inyong data sheet is you can use it to your SIP crafting and uh, planning next year no. It it, in, it enables all DepEd partnership focal persons and external partnerships to serve as clearinghouse of all external partnership initiatives. So uh, ito yung uh, cycle ng data elements of PDS. So you have this school information, you have the enrollment, um, basic information of your school, how many number of teachers, yung mga number of furnitures, desk, ganun. Accountable person, sino yung in charge, and then partners for this, uh, partnership agreements, partnership partners, contribution, and period indicator. Yung parang ito yung timeline. So, ito naman yung Region 4A no, sa Antipolo na nag-orient and nag-pilot testing ng online partnership platform. From Region 12, from Region 8. Okay, so, uh, the next topic, I hope, uh, if you have questions, no, of you have queries, you can write it down in comment section. We will be generating your questions later after the topics. Ay, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, Q&A portion of this later. Pre-monitoring survey results. So, ito yung pre-monitoring survey results. No? So, we have responses from the division office. So, on readiness of the region division to the SPDS. So, we have ready and not ready. So, basically sa atin, not ready pa tayo, no? So that's why you're here. So you should para magkaroon tayo ng uh, 100% readiness sa ating school. On the overall experience of the school in using SPDS, um, zero yung unsatisfied. So lahat talaga nag-vote uh, na itong online DPDS is uh, satisfied or very satisfied yung kanilang experience dito. So ma-experience niyo rin to when you will have the actual online data partnership submission. So, uh, review lang ito ng, uh, during the pilot testing, we have 37 respondents in all during the pilot testing. So, these are their um, pictures. On readiness naman of the SPDS, so majority talaga ang nag-vote ng ready na sila talaga. And, it will help, it will really help them. Overall experience in SPDS, uh, as you can see, mataas din yung rate, so definitely positive yung response ng ating mga respondents. Results of the implementation review, so we have the data group, the data elements, specific issue concern, action to be taken, and remarks. So halimbawa, dito sa data group, we have the SLCs or the school learning centers, uh, partner name, for example, you have the partner, let's say, Stanfilco or Dole or Del Monte. And then contact details, yung number, and then Facebook page, email address, specific issue concern, alignment, or incomplete data. Or ano lang ito, example lang ito, ha? pwede kayo mag-make ng inyong own. And then action to be taken, text drop. Check formatting. These are just uh, guided examples. Okay, let's proceed. So, ito na yung uh, parang summary na ating na-discuss kanina. And the results of the implementation still a continuation of that. 
form of agreement, signatory name, project name, and remarks. By the way, after this, we will be, uh, di ba may attendance sheet tayo? And in your attendance sheet, I think there is an email. So, we could email the necessary uh, information for this online platform. So, consultative meetings, ito yung uh, conducted during the consultative meeting on the crafting of the policy. This was done last February 28, 2018. And then these are the minutes of the meeting. And the summary of comments and recommendations for system development. So from data group, partners contribution, the actual amount is uh, taken into consideration and the value of contribution the amount inputted not fit to sell so these are just the recommendations and then action to be taken adjust sell to fit 1 billion amount of donation drop down option these are just uh, samples of the summary of comments and recommendation that was conducted during the consultative meeting so So I think guys that that took me 30 minutes siguro no for the summary lang yon ng mga kung bakit nag-start yung DPDS yung DepEd Partnership Database System and uh, as you can see hindi ito biro no kasi 4 years in the making before it was a uh, roll out it was a uh, roll out to the division office and to the schools in general so uh, uh this is um taken into credit for our USEC uh, Tunisi to Umali, which is our USEC for the partnership uh, sa DepEd Central Office. So, if you have questions for that, uh, just kindly write it down in, your, in the comment section of the Facebook page. So, again, uh, attendance sheet will be given later. So, thank you so much for you listening to me and I hope you have uh, uh, got that information at least on the history of this DPDS. So, without further ado, guys, I'll give the microphone over to our ICT coordinator, Sir Darrell Macario, to discuss to us further on the online DepEd partnership database system. All right. Thank you so much, Ma'am Gay. Uh, shout out dahil no, sa ato ang 698 live viewers karon for our uh, online orientation on DPDS. Alright? Uh, so, I believe they are the Brigada Escuela Coordinators, the uh, Adapt School Program Coordinators, as well as assisted by the School ICT Coordinators. Okay? So, you see guys, uh, amon ni siyang gituyo nga tulo since uh, ang ato ang system uh, mag-entail siya og uh, assistance from your school ICT coordinators okay so uh, the school ICT coordinators are all requested to give technical assistance to your brigada escuela coordinators and adapa school program coordinators for the successful implementation of this PDS okay so you just heard no the overview of the system how was it uh, develop uh, what are the uh, challenges that does the department has faced in coming up with this system and finally no uh, after four years uh, that ed will now be able to roll this system all throughout the uh, all schools in the philippines okay so our objective for this uh, orientation is to enable you guys on how to use the online system okay uh, we will teach you step by step on how to accomplish the form, how to download the template, how to upload the template, uh, how to generate reports, how to uh, update. Okay, and we all we will also present to you later the timeline on when we will be using the system. Okay, so uh mura siya og LIS gyapon no nga naa siya time nga ting upload, ting update and so on. So later on you will find out. Okay, so uh, my first topic for this morning is the introduction of the PDS. Okay, so 
you can see here in your screen uh we will be using the unified template all right uh when we say the unified template that template is in excel form uh it will be downloadable uh directly from the system okay and in where katunga template ang inyong fill up and then mo inyong i-upload sa system okay so we also assure you that the system is very user friendly okay uh there are just a uh, very few few buttons very few icons ngayon yung ipang click dili siya complicated uh you'll see later because uh you you can uh, experience it firsthand on how to uh, access the system okay it will also uh provide us uh easy reporting and generation of information because once you upload your information uh encoded in excel the system will consolidate it per quarter per school year for easy reporting and generation of our information all right so uh first uh this is the the program outline of the dpds of course uh for you to have an access to the system uh you must be given your user accounts okay so part of the security of the system dapat uh na i username and password of course to be given to you this morning okay uh then after you will be given your user account of course you access the system then you will log in right and then you download the template the excel one that i'm talking about you fill it out after filling out you upload the template but make sure before uploading the template make sure that all details are correct and updated okay because once you upload the template for that certain quarter dili na na nimo siya ma-update you have to wait for the next system cycle, the next quarter, para ma-update ang imong data. And of course, it will provide us a easy generation of reports. Okay? So, for the creation of user accounts, uh, we have here three uh, level of governance for the accounts. We have the regional account, the division account, and the school account. Okay? Uh, for the regional account, just an overview, ang mag-create ani is the central office. So, ang region na na sila account. And then, for the division account, gihimuan na punta sa ito ang regional office 10. So, we already have our division account. For the school account, it will be the responsibility of the division office to create and update a school accounts. Okay? So, uh, mo na siya. For the school accounts, uh, we already created, as uh, I think, 644 schools school accounts okay so uh please download the uh this the master list of dpds school accounts through this link all right so i i suggest i i recommend uh please download it now that's bit.ly backslash dpds bukid non okay so in order to download that uh file you have to you need to have a valid Dapat dapat email address, okay? Part of our data privacy act, okay? Dapat ah you will log in using your dapat email for you to download this school account. So unsay na anang unsay na anang school account? That school account will will contain ah your username and also your password, okay? So naka Excel file siya. Ah, your username is your school ID at dapat.gov.ph. Ah, just last week we have rolled out the School accounts, DepEd school accounts. Okay, so katung DepEd school accounts niyo, katung niyo ang school ID at DepEd.gov.ph. That's actually your user account for this DPDS. All right, mga school ICT coordinators, I know kabalo mo ana. But for the password, ah, you have to download this Excel file para makita niyo dito ang password. Walak tay default password. Ah, each of the schools have their own unique password. Okay, makita niyo dira sa Excel file. So I suggest uh, before moving on that yeah uh, that you download the Excel file para makita ninyo ang inyong school accounts because as we go on with our orientation uh, I want you to to try it on dira sa inyong uh, respective nga mga laptops or computers okay I suggest katong mga nag-use og cellphone pwede mo magamit og cellphone for streaming sa atong orientation but for the actual nga nga paggamit sa system uh, kindly use a uh, laptop or desktop computer okay so na access na 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 download na ninyo ang file okay ako nang 
kindly take a picture of this slide para dili ninyo ma-miss. Alright? So, how to log in? Now, nana mo account. How to log in? First, of course, you have to open your browser. Uh, may it be Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge. And then, type in address bar the partnerships. Take note na IS. That's partnerships database that depth.gov.ph okay so that's our uh, url for our system that's partnerships database that depth.gov.ph you may also visit our website uh, depthbukidnon.net.ph and then you hover dito sa ato ang main menu sa taas sa online systems na poy link dito for partnerships database that depth.gov.ph okay so after of course, you have to enter your email address and your password. Hagani makita dito sa Excel file nga atong gishow uh, with the previous slides. Okay, you enter your uh, email and your password, and then you click login. All right. Okay. So once you have successfully logged in. Uh, it will prompt, the system will prompt nga you have to change your password nga no man, because that password that was given to you is a generic or a temporary one okay, so in order for you to secure your account, since daghan man naka-download anang Excel file so meaning, daghan maka-access sa inyong school, so in order to secure your school account you have to enter your old password, katong gikan sa Excel and then you type the new password. Katong inyuhan na nga password. Okay? And then please don't forget to, to remember to write your new password in your notebook or planner. Okay? Kay basin inyong malimtan inyuhang password. Okay? Uh, for request for password reset, uh, dapat na may valid justification nga nung inyong nalimtan inyuhang password. Then you can email us. Uh, later on, I will show you our email my email and mom gay's email for you to request a uh, change password if ever nalimtan niyo yung password but uh dapat na may valid justification nga nung inyong nalimtan okay because uh remember uh you have to write your own password sa inyong notebook or planner para dili ninyo malimtan okay it says here request to reset password shall be course through the office of the SDS ICT unit okay so that's my email and also mom gay's email later with valid justification why school is requesting for a password reset so i hope that's clear uh moving on so after you log in so you now after you log in you change your password you will now have access to the system okay so ang inyong una buhaton is you have to download the template Okay, that template, as I've said earlier, is an Excel file and where did to mo mag encode. Okay, uh, I understand we have many schools nga medyo lisod ang access sa internet. Okay, so this template file is actually very helpful for us since ang pag encode nato sa tong data sa DPDS, dili siya necessary nga online ta permente. Okay, so. If ever your school don't have internet access, so there are only two instances nga kinahanglan ninyo og internet. First is ang pag-download sa template and then second is ang pag-upload sa template. Ang pag-fill out sa template, since Excel form man siya, pwede wala moy internet connection. Alright, so that's the beauty of this uh, DPDS nga ato ang system. Okay, so how to download the template? So, in your left sidebar sa system, makita ninyo dito, under uh, school management, okay, na ay kuan dito nga download template. So, school management sa left side, na ay download template. So, uh, I want you to, right now, I want you to log in, okay, log in ang inyuhang, log in ang inyuhang accounts, please, using our username and password, and then, Please uh, change your default password and then uh, try to look at ang interface sa tuang system. Okay, di maka upload ba taog picture there is a chat box? I think not. Uh, for a while. Delay. Okay. 
So, sige lang. Uh, for those uh, nakalag-in na sa inyuhang mga accounts nga naana mo sa inyuhang dashboard, okay, kindly type bulls diri sa tuwang chat box or sa tuwang uh, comment box so that I will know kung nakafollow ba mo sa tuwang instruction or not. Okay? So again, for those schools nga naka-access na sa ilang sis sa DPDS, uh, kindly type bulls sa tuwang comment box section para we'll have a an idea kung nakasulod ba mo or wala. Okay? So nakalag in na Mr. Dar, naka-download na pod mi ingon si Sir Rex Lasatin. Okay. Okay, na Mama Rexel, Ma'am Carla, Ma'am Michelle. Ganong dili ka kalag in Ma'am Michelle. Okay? Ah, uh, okay, daghan na nag bulls. Sir Junel, Ma'am Dina, Ma'am Moira. All right. So it's good to know, no? Ma Melanie Okay, it's good to know nga naka-follow mo sa tuang uh, tuang orientation. So, once you download that template, once you download that template, uh, ang contain niya na is, I've said, is an Excel file in which uh, it will be discussed later on again by Ma'am Gay on how to fill out that Excel template. Okay, so we have a separate session for that after me para makuha ma ninyo, ma ma graphs ninyo kung unsay mga entries nga ipangbutang diya sa tuwang template. Alright? So, dagan na naka-download, no? Uh, Sir Romel, Ma'am Mary, Ma'am Daisy, Ma'am Irish. Alright. Sige. Thank you so much. So, once successfully login, template can be downloaded. Then, in the tab menu, click on download template. Okay? So, once ma-download ninyo ang template, it will be placed there is a lower left. Okay, sa lower left sa inyong browser, nadia DPDS template ang mabutang. Uh, ang bagong uh, version karon is uh, DPDS template, then mabutang din inyong school ID. Okay, automatic nga makapture inyong school ID. Mao'y iya ang i-file name. But later on, uh, we will change that file name. I will show you later ang unsa inyong i-file name para uh, makuanta, ma-uniform ta sa atuang uploading of template. Alright, so... As I've said, this is the template file. Uh, it will be discussed further by Mam Gay. Okay, so downloaded template is an Excel file. Save the template using the following file name. Okay, so for schools, so kindly take note of this one. Uh, the file name, dapat na ninyo i rename into uh, PDS underscore region. In our case, that's R10. So, kindly take this down. Uh, division, bukid non. Then, underscore uh, your school name. Then, underscore your school ID. Then, underscore unsang a quarter. Uh, because uh, I think I forgot to mention that we have to uh, use the system uh, once every quarter. Okay, so we have to update the system uh, once every quarter. Later, we will show you the tam timeline kung kanus a. Okay, so in our case, since we are on November, okay, so we are on fourth quarter. Okay, so quarter four, so you put their Q4, and then the fiscal year, that's uh, 2020. Again, the file name for us, para ma-uniform na ito ang itong file name, uh, the file name should be PDS underscore R10 underscore Bukidnon underscore Baungo National High School underscore 123456 underscore Q4 for quarter 4. Of course, kung quarter 1 na, Q1 na pod. Okay? Delete na mag Q4. Q4 underscore dayon 2020. Okay? So, uh, so we will give you enough time for you to download the template. Okay? So, uh, I will give you, I think, uh, 10 minutes will be will that be enough okay so we will give you 10 minutes para ma-download ninyo ang template then after you download the template uh, you rename it with this uh, naming convention and then after 10 minutes uh, we will continue with our orientation okay so if you got it uh, kindly type bulls sa tuang chat box para we have an indicator 
kung pila na ang nakakuha sa ito ang instruction. Okay, so before moving on with the our orientation, uh, I will give you 10 minutes to download the Excel file that contains your school name and your password. Then you log in, you change password, password, and then you download the template. Okay, para later on, pag-discuss ni Ma'am Gay, uh, natay template tanan. Okay, para equal footing tatanan pag-discuss ni Ma'am Gay on how to use the template. Alright, so it's 9.41, so I uh, will get back to you by 9.51. Okay? So mag-play-play -play lang ko diri og mga commercials para sa toang 10 minute nga, nga workshop. Thank you. Ayaw pa rin mag-school ng friend kong si Brian kasi daw may COVID pa. Ano namang sinabi mo sa kanya po? Ang sabi ko po, hindi naman po talaga papasok sa school eh. Sa bahay lang mag-aaral hanggat may COVID pa. Ano namang sagot niya? Tapos sabi niya, Paano daw mag-aaral sa bahay e eh wala namang teacher sa bahay? E eh, ba nga Lola, ano nga ulit nung tawag dun sa hindi naman papasok sa school pero mag-aaral pa rin? Apo, ang tawag niyan ay distance learning. Yun nga po, mag-aaral pa rin kami gamit ng computer. Di ba Lola? Oo, pero bukod sa online, may mga lessons din na ipapalabas sa TV at radio para makapag-aral pa rin ang mga bata kahit wala kayong computer at internet. Ah, eh paano po kapag wala rin TV at radio? May ipamimigay na mga printed material ang mga teachers sa inyo. Di ba po ang tawag dun eh? Blend... Blend. Apo, blended learning. Ibig sabihin ng blended learning ay gagamitin ang iba't ibang pamamaraan ng pagtuturo gamit ang internet, ang TV, radio, at ang print para hindi kailangang pumunta sa school ng mga teachers at mga bata. Ah, kaya po pala si Teacher Rose hindi na rin kailangan pumasok na. School. Tama, hindi na rin papasok ang mga teacher sa school para gagabayan pa rin nila kayo at laging tatawagan ang mga magulang para kukumustahin ang pag-aaral ng mga bata tulad mo. Tumawag nga po si Teacher Rose sa si nanay. Ang sabi niya, mag-download ng DepEd comments sa cellphone eh. Games ba yun, Lola? Um, may kasama din games. Pero... Yung may matutunan ka. May mga lessons din kasi sa DepEd Commons na pwedeng gamitin ng mga magulang at teachers para maturuan ang mga bata. Sasabihin ko din po kay Brian na mag-download siya ng DepEd Commons. At sabihin mo rin sa kanya na huwag na siyang matakot mag-school. Dahil sa pasukan, sa bahay lang naman kayo mag-aaral gamit ang internet walang internet, TV. Kung walang TV, radio. At kung walang radio, ay print. Oo nga po, Lola. Hindi naman po pala dapat humingi sa pag-aaral kahit may COVID eh. Magtutulungan kami para magpatuloy ang edukasyon.
Nilinisan ko nang maiwan. Hindi ko na mabilang kung ilang beses akong nakiusap. Hanggang sa maubos ang pangungusap. Naisip ko na rin sumuko dahil sa sunod-sunod na bagyo. Parang walang katapusan itong kalbaryo. Saan nga ba ako patungo? Saan ba ang dulo nito? Sa paglalakbay, muntik na akong huminto. Pero sinalubong mo ako. Umumad sa akin yung mga mata mong gusto matuto. Ang mga kamay mong sabik sumula. Ang mga labi mong nais bumigtas na mga salitang makakabawi ng pagod. Samahan kita kahit isang eroplano ang agwat nating dalawa. Dahil kung nakakapagsalita lamang ang paliparan, ikukwento niya kung ilang beses akong lumingon pabalik sa iyo nung araw na ako'y lumisan. Papalubog ang araw noon at dahan-dahan lumulubog din ang puso ko sa kalungkutan. Ayaw sana kitang iwan. Gusto kitang samahan sa mga umagang nagmamadali ka papasok sa eskwela. Gusto kitang damayan sa mga gabing nahihirapan ka sa matematika. Gusto kitang yakapin sa tuwing gusto mo nang sumuko dahil akala mo'y wala kang talento sa pagpinta. Ngunit anak, gusto kong ipaalam sa'yo na ikaw ang nagpinta ng buhay ko. Nang dumating ka, naging makulay ang mundo ko. Ang dating mga baluktot na linya ay naging tuwid. Ang dating madilim na larawan ay nabigyan ng liwanag. Kaya anak, gusto pa rin kitang samahan sa bawat mong karanasan, sa mga tagumpay at kabiguan. Sasamahan kita hanggang marating mo ang mga ulap, hanggang maabot mo ang iyong mga pangarap. Hello, Ma. Hello, anak. Sorry, kakatapos lang ang trabaho ni Mama. Okay lang po, Ma. Kakatapos lang din naman po namin maglaro. Bukang nandun ka ulit sa paborito mong lugar, ha? O sige, ready ka na ba? Punta ka na sa DepEd Commons. Mart tayo ngayon ha. Saan na nga ulit tayo na ito kahapon? Sa problem solving na, di ba? Anak, sasamahan kita. Kahit isang eroplano ang agawat nating dalawa.
All right. So, I hope naka-follow na tangan. Uh, I've seen here sa toang comment box. Uh, daghan na nag-type og bulls uh, meaning na naka-download na sila sa template. Uh, for those schools, nay mga questions dire. Uh, Ma'am Irish Mayreya, Sir, ask ko integrated among school pero ang nakatatak sir kay ES pa. Okay ra na siya sir from Nam Nam Integrated School. Okay, ah, uh, nga ni, uh, for those schools nga gusto magpa-update sa ilahang uh, name sa system, uh, kindly email us, me or Ma'am Gay. Later on, I will I will project sa screen ninyo ang amuang emails para ma-change na namo siya. Okay, so... There's also a question here. Ganina. Ano to? Katong... Hello, sir. Appeal ba IP schools? Na ay account? Dili na mo kita amu ah. Okay, from Ma'am Rhea Bandivas. So, Ma'am Rhea, uh, as I've said, uh, if you want to uh, request for account creation, uh, uh, school info updating, uh, kindly just uh, send us an email, me and Ma'am Gay, so we can take action. Okay? Ah... Uh, after you email mo, balos may sa inyo ha para sa inyong uh, username and password. Okay? Uh, including kang Sir Romel Mata. Good day, Sir Darrell. Nice schools nga wala na apil sa Excel. Okay? So, nice schools nga wala na apil sa Excel. Uh, uh, maybe uh, wala mo na apil sa katong master list nga gihatag sa ato ang planning office. So, if na mga case ngayon nga na, uh, kindly just send us an email. But uh, before that... Uh, make sure nga nga wala gid mo kay there are cases nga like for example uh, integrated na mod pero naday moy account sa elementary school okay so kindly double check if integrated na mo i-search ang inyong pangalan nga walay integrated basin ang na, na, nahimuan og account is your uh, elementary school so there's no uh, actually wala may problema ana kay uh, one one account per school raman ta whether it may be elementary school or integrated school. Okay, so uh, one one account ragita per school. Okay, so any more question? Hina yung signal. Sorry, wala jud tayo mabuhat anak, ma'am. <laughs> okay, magrong man ako. Ah, magrong daw kang Sir Aldino Di Gracia. Ah, sir, kindly copy and paste ang username and password. If magrong gihapon, uh, kindly send us an email so we can reset your password. Okay? Incorrect password ang mugawas. Dili mi ka login. Okay? The same with Ma'am Juvelin Zureta from Imbaris Elementary School. Okay? Kindly send us an email. Pero before that, kindly copy and paste. Ayaw ninyo i-type. Okay? From Excel, you copy, you paste dito sa tuang browser para uh, uh, sure ta nga walay typo error. Okay? Same with Sir Jer L. Rem. Okay, and then the rest, uh, puro na sila mga bulls, meaning naka-download nila na sila sa ilang templates. Alright, so uh, let's move on with our uh, orientation. So, uh, ang atuang, atuang DPDS, uh, dili lang siya nag-entail o uh, schools. Okay, it also covers katong mga community learning centers na to sa ALS. Okay, so for... For ALS, uh, this will be your uh, naming convention. Uh, instead of PDS, uh, <clears throat> you put there C. CPDS, uh, underscore R10, underscore Bukidnon. Okay, underscore name of the learning center. And then, underscore quarter, since antong mga learning centers, wala man sila high school ID. Okay, ako lang lang baong National High School Dira para na entry. But actually, that's the name of the learning center. Then, quarter four, and then the fiscal year. So, PDS reporting guidelines. Diba, uh, I've said earlier, uh, you will use the system uh, once every quarter. So, we have a deadline. Okay, so, for example, when we, we're talking about the first quarter of the year, uh, the deadline is the 25th, 25th day of March. Okay, so that's the deadline for the first quarter. For the second quarter, uh, the deadline will be the 25th day of June for the second quarter, for the third quarter, the 25th day of September, and for the fourth quarter, it will be the 25th day of December.
Okay, so sa ito ang pag-initial nga yun sa system karon since we are now in the fourth quarter, so take note of this timeline at the the deadline for the uh, submission of report through the PDS is on December 25th. So, uh, that's the deadline for our fourth quarter. Okay, so every year da yun, uh, we will follow this uh, deadline. Uh, every year, we will follow this deadline. Okay, so para makuha ma na to, ma ma cope up na to ang deadline niya giset sa central office. Alright? Okay, uh, we actually have here uh, from Ma'am Hani. Okay, uh, since ang nahatag na lista ko is uh, April pa nga schools. Okay, so for those schools nga wala na include, oh, uh, kindly send me an email na lang para ma-add ma tamo dito sa DPDS. Okay, thank you Ma'am Han. Na Nag-chat yun just ako ah. Alright? So, please take note, hagan ha, take a photo of this uh Timelines, timeline, reporting guidelines na to. Again, for the first quarter, uh, the, uh, that's actually para dili mo malibog the 25th day of the last month of every quarter. Okay, so for the first quarter, the last month is March, so that's the 25th day of March. For the second quarter, the last month is June, so 25th day of June, and so on and so forth. Okay, so system will be locked on the 20th, 20th. 8th day of last month of every quarter. Okay, so after 25, that's the deadline. Pagka 28, uh, malak na na siya ang ato ang system. So, dili na mo makagamit ana after the 28th day of the last month of every quarter. Okay, so we have to uh, follow the uh, indicated timeline para dili na dili tama kami o submit sa ato ang DPDS. Since uh, uh, just an ang sa tawag na uh, over a uh, uh, advance info nga ang system na to dali ra niya ma determine kung kinsa nga school ang non compliant og ang compliant for that certain quarter okay so since ingana man siya so we have to follow strictly follow ang ato ang PBS reporting guidelines right so this time uh, i will call again ma'am gay for the discussion on the data elements and the step-by-step -step procedure in an accomplishing the PDS. So this time, I hope na na mo Excel file, naka-open na inyong Excel file sa inyong mga respective laptops or computers okay, para maka-follow mo sa discussion ni Ma'am Jennifer Gay. Okay? So Ma'am Gay, uh, akong ibalik sa inyo ang microphone. All right, so um, I hope that all of the viewers here have already downloaded or naka-open ang inyong Excel file. So may I know who has not yet downloaded the Excel file? Kindly chat po. Um, kindly comment. DepEd, if not downloaded. Kindly comment, DepEd, if you have not yet downloaded the Excel file. Kasi magiging useless din naman yung discussion natin kapag wala kayong, ano, naka... Di, good ko kasulod, sir. Incur Kindly re request again, Sir Darrell, sa... Uh, sir Darrell is online naman, so... Uh, kindly request ASAP email, Sir Darrell for password reset daryl.macario at deped.gov.ph so may I know for those who have commented deped so ibig sabihin hindi pa kayo wala pa kayong excel file so may I know the reason why so, ma'am Grace ma'am Jovelyn, ma'am Ella ma sir Jeff maestro, ma'am Hanapay um a mobile phone. So, you should have with you your laptop. So, Ma'am Eds. Oy, nga naman ni si Ma'am Eds. What, what, what happened? Si Ma'am Sampagita. Marami din, no? So, how will you 
uh, know what to input. I'll just that okay. For those who commented DepEd, so basically wala, wala pa mo Excel type. So please um, take a screenshot na lang of our uh, slides for you for you to be guided. So we will be giving you anyway the slides or nandito naman sa Facebook live, diba? So you you can review the topics that we have discussed. So ready na ba tayo? Kindly comment boost if ready. Okay, so our, our first, oh, how to input data or what to input for your DPDS. So again, the deadlines were already discussed by Sir Darrell Macario. So, uh, warm of applause. Please comment warm of applause for Sir Darrell. Clap. Lisuda, aning, kuano, wala tayo, audience. <laughs> Lain kayo feeling guys. Oh, naka-relate na mo. Kung magkuan pod mo speaker, maka-relate pod mo. Di na ko ma-capture yung reaction kung nag nag sad ba mo. Kindly uh, virtual applause for Sir Darrell. Sige lang bi para makita namo atong reaction. Bahala gulay like snacks. <laughs> so on the mind, this is the new the new normal. Hala, diligid ko mag-comment, diligid ko mag-start if not yet, virtual applause. Why reactions, guys? Nag-smile, nag... Anana, okay, go. Thank you. Bakit nag -ha -ha? <laughs> Wala mo good kay audience. <laughs> Ang audience na ko, puro kuan. Mag-connect na lang ta through reactions sa mga smiley and emojis. So, thank you so much. So, um, please open with your excel type if you have already if you don't have the excel type screenshot per slide or we will be uh to make sure no we will also be giving you um copy of this slide so the content of this data elements of pers uh, partnership database system so bakit yung brigade escuela na at a school kasi kayo yung nag uh, re receive di ba hindi pwede sa school na Kung kinsa na lang ang naa, or usually sa every classroom kasi, di ba, naman po mo yung donation. So, okay lang na siya, but make sure to consult na binigay nyo yung report, nag-feedback kayo doon sa Adapt as School Coordinator. Alright? So, may I know from you, from the audience, do you have the Adapt as School Coordinator um, office order? Kindly comment office order if you have. Kindly comment office order if you have the office order. Kindly comment office order if you have the office order as adapt as school coordinator or a uh, usually brigade escuela coordinator is uh, considered as adapt as school coordinator na din. Mostly in small small schools. Ah, sige na lang. Delay man yata ning kuan di ba? Kaning clap. Ay, pa nag-clap. Daghan kay clap. <laughs> Sorry guys. So um um if you're if you're a principal right now or who is a, also a viewer of this, um please uh, naman give office orders to your teachers, di ba? As uh, brigada coordinator, adapt as school coordinator, mga National Greening Coordinator, ICT Coordinator, all the coordinatorships, pwede nila ang kunan, pwede tag-10, kasi isa, especially if you are a small school, no? If you are also a teacher, uh, a viewer here in the orientation, um, please make sure that you have the office order. Dili lang verbal, guys, ha? Dili pwede ang verbal. You should have the paper, office order. So, kano sa ihata ang office order, dili pwede nga karun lang. Dapat ito sa pag-start pa lang sa school, planning na ninyo kinsa ang mag-coordinator ani. Okay, very good. Con very good kay na ay office order. Si Sir Jezom, akong silingan sa Kisulon, not yet given an office order. Okay, so this is the high time for you Sir Jezom nga mag-request ta og office order from Sir Ian Litanon. I guess that is your school principal. A ah, very good. 
kudos to those has to those teachers who have uh, coordinatorship. So, okay, so as uh, the adapt as school coordinator, so kamut basically ang namoy uh, file dapat sa inyong computer dan sa schools or gipanghatag ninyo sa inyong teachers mga deed of donation or deed of acceptance or pwede din yung acknowledgement receipt na naka-prepare. Kasi minsan, merong walk-in na nagdo-donate sa school, at least meron kayong um, um, papers like uh, the acknowledgement receipt. Pwede na. Or receipt, if palawan naman, palawan, pwede din. Okay, so, uh, the contents, let's go now to the Excel. The contents for this is the pre period indicator or range, the school information, the accountable person. So, each of these um, category will be discussed. So, the first one is the period indicator. So, as you can see in your Excel, you have the fiscal year, quarter report, region, division, and so on. So, fiscal year, when the PDS was accomplished. So, yun yung pagka-accomplish ng inyong partnership data system. So, let's say 2020, diba? Because this is our first, um, December 25th will be the deadline. So, 2020 yung ilalagay nyo sa fiscal year, quarter, anong quarter na tayo ngayon? Fourth quarter. Okay, just, just input fourth. So, fiscal year is 2020, and then sa quarter report, fourth quarter, and then region 10, division, bakit non? Your school or learning center name, and then your school ID. So, basic naman ito, di ba? The next one is the school information. So, after the school ID is lalabas yung offering, yung school offering is if whether you are an elementary school, whether you are... Ang hindi lang nasama yata dito is yung primary school. Kasi we already have opened primary schools, several primary schools this school year. So, if you are PS pa lang, primary school, kindly put PS. ES, elementary school, J, junior high school, senior high school, integrated school, or ALS. Okay na? And then, the next one, Ako na lang siya i-show tanan. The next one is the accountable person. Sinong, sinong ilalagay nyo dito sa prepared by? The name of the person who prepared the PDS. So basically, if you are the adapt as school coordinator, and dito si ICT, no, mag-a-assist lang siya for downloading. But basically, yung uh, main actor talaga dito is yung adapt as school coordinator. Or, or if you are the adapt as school coordinator slash brigada escuela coordinator, Pwede na, ikaw na din yun. So, depende man, di ba, kayo na may small schools nga uh, multitasking, imuhatanan. Pwede na po. Yan, ka, ka super woman, super man. Pwede na, why not? So, designation, teacher one slash ASP coordinator or slash brigada escuela coordinator. But basically, um, required good siya kada school nga naag yun, adapt a school coordinator. Or we call it ASP, Adapt a School Program Coordinator. Contact number, that is you, kasi kayo yung nandito ngayon. So, your name, designation, teacher1 slash ASP coordinator, your contact number, and the date. Okay. Approved by, syempre, sino ma-approved yung school head ninyo? And then, position of your school heads, ESHT1 or ESP1 or secondary school head teacher 1. His contact number of your current principal. And then, the date submitted. Oh, date signed. Okay, next. So, the, the next uh, category will be the school or community learning cert center partners. So, your partner name, again, diba, you have listed already, you have already identified the existing partners of, of your community 
or of your school. So, let's say partner name. Pwede siyang organization. Pwede din siyang individual. Because we have individual partners. Like, for example, um, OFW you have returned or an OFW you have just sent uh, money or help to the school through Palawan or Western Union or LBC. Pwede niyong ilagay dyan. Okay, so, as many as you can type. Kung daghan kayo mag partners, so please, uh, make sure nga inyong nabutang din sa first column, partner name. Okay. So, the next column, for example, you have selected Kasilak. So, Kasilak is a private sector. Dili siya public. Di po siya NGO. It is a private sector. So, if you have also, kasi ano, drop down menu, di ba? Drop down menu. Pag nag-select kayo ng others, dun yung nag nagpa-function yung third column which is the remarks. If you have, um, kung di mo kabalo guys, kung asa ninyo siya ibilong uh, category, just select others and then remarks. Para maka-input mo kung kinsan nga others. Okay, so as many as ha. So how to consolidate this one as adapt a school coordinator. Dali naman di, di ba? Tagaan lang ninyo ang mga teachers, tanan teachers sa inyong classroom. Okay, for sure, that teacher ha also have partner. Di ba? Sa iyang classroom, maybe na nag-donate og blackboard, na nag-donate og TV sa iyang room, na nag-donate og floor wax, pwede ra. So mas mapadali inyong trabaho ani. Oh, uh, consolidate na magod mo, diba? So, copy and type and drop down lang mo. And then, if wala po just sa drop down menu, just select others and then put it in the remarks section. So, the fourth column is the uh, specific partner type. So, if you have already screenshot this one, the next uh, slide will be this one. Specific partner type. So, again, dili-listed para sa inyo kung asa ni siya i-belong because naka-drop down menu na siya. So, it will not be hard for you anymore. Drop down menu. And again, after downloading it, pwede na mo mag-work offline without the internet connection. Okay, so drop down menu lang gihapon siya. For example, nag-partner like name is SM. So, private sector, siya na belong. And then, walay remarks, kay dili man siya others. And then, fourth is specific partner type. So, SM is, is it a corporate foundation? Is it a private individual? Or is it a private company? So, tanan inyo i-click dito sa second column. Definitely, mo apply po siya sa fourth column. So, may baon na ninyo upon, uh, upon discovering no, sa inyong pag-kubi-kubi diya sa inyong Excel. Okay, no question for this. Let's go to another example, which is the usual partner of our school, which is the LGU or Barangay Council. Anak na na usually sa far-flung areas who don't have partners like uh, Pineapple Plantation. So, ang madalik-dalik na ganyang partner is kanina ganyang ang partner ang uh, kanyang mga Barangay Council. Diba? So, for example, kanila ang ating example, LGU of Mahataw. O LGU of uh, Kadingilan, let's say. So, general partner type, a drop-down menu that is a public sector. And then, kung public sector siya, i-click lang ninyo itong drop-down menu sa fourth column na bilang ba siya sa LGU municipality or barangay or government-owned owner or kung PNP po siya, dito siya nabilong sa National Government Agency, kung BFP. So, dapat, as adapt a school, coordinator of your school, kabalo mo kung unsa ning mga NGA, kabalo mo unsa ning mga GOCCs, LGU, kabalo mo specify or identify ani tanan. So, the next um, column, okay, na nata sa, uh, another example na lang para, kuan Let's say, for example, in your uh, partner is PTA. That is a civil society organization. Let's say alumni. Asa na belong si alumni? Diha gaya po siya na belong sa civil society organization. Okay? Dili siya private. Dili po siya uh, LGU. Kung dili is civil society organization. Or CSO. 
So, kung magpili po mo aning civil society organizations, definitely dito po sa drop down menu sa fourth column, mugawas po siya, is it as faith-based? Kung simbahan siya, faith-based. Okay? Kung uh, association sa professionals, let's say doctor's association, ito siya professional association. Kung co-op po siya, let's say FICO, or ano sa panang co-op nga sa inyong nag-donate, dito po siya nabilang sa co-op, or trade unions, or media association. So, again, kung mga ina, ganun siya nga um, partners, dito siya nabilang sa civil society organizations. Okay. So, um, let's say OISCA. OISCA is an international foundation. Diri sa ato, Australian aid, ano sa panang international diha. Basta, Gawas sa Philippines, that is considered as international. So, do duha lang kawag ang drop down if international, government ba siya sa international like Australian aid, it is a government from Australia, di ba, donate sa ito. Or, OISCA, international NGO. Like, for example, atong ma-identify din nga international is we have the world vision. If in your school is nabilong anin na category, you can select international and then INGO, International Non-Government Organization. Those are samples. Okay. Next. A screenshot na lang ni, before ko ma-proceed sa next. Okay. Next slide. Okay, um, others, if others naman, again, kung other in yung sa second column, definitely, you can type in, in the remark section. Alright, and then, each partner, you should have the contact details for them. Okay, do you have the uh, contact details already? Or basin ang principal lang ang kabalo, or then kamu wala? Okay. Okay, if if second column sa inyo had no problem, maybe dili sa sample na is na fourth column siya, but sa Excel is sa second column, no problem. I just uh pareho din naman siya, di ba, na kuan na drop down menu. No problem if ulan just uh follow through la lang and then make sure later on sa attendance you you have inputted your correct email and then contact details. Yes. Okay. The next slide will be the partner's contribution. So, a uh, drop-down menu lang yan po niya, guys. So, available niya sa inyong Excel. For example, uh, SM has donated specifically for to answer the gap for the attendance. So, pwede na po niya i-drop-down attendance. Or for example, na uh, program or advocacy sa inyong school, you can select this one, advocacy support. Or basin maghatag siya o mga TV sets or computers or printers. So, pwede siya sa appliances, equipment, ibutang. So, mag-select lang yun mo, ani basically. Kung asa siya dapat na belong. Or kung manpower, usually kay Briga, pero usually kara, wala magunta nag- Kandak ani karon because of the COVID-19, so dili na to may use yung volunteer hours. But for next year, maybe after the COVID-19 will be lifted, we can use this uh, volunteer hours for the manpower. Maybe for the senior high school, that specific partner has donated for the purpose of work immersion. So just select work immersion. Alright, so, dali naman siguro, di ba? Ang pa-identify na to, infrastructure, buildings, furniture, mga cabinets, mga chairs, tables, blackboards, financial support, so, syempre, man monetary, attendance, learner school supplies, kung para sa mga learner, yung mga donations, mga uh, notebooks, ball pens, so, dihan nato siya i-belong. Kung first aid kit, pwede na to siya i-belong sa wellness health, or sa policy support, or basin nag-donate po siya for the teaching and non-teaching personal support, 
if ever, in case wala diri sa drop down menu na belong, so just select others and then type in the remarks section. Ma'am, among form ka general partner, type una, drop down, rame, dili, maka-entry of other data like PTA. So, we will uh, discuss this one later. Sir Dar. Uh, uh, Ma'am, ang among form ka general partner, type una, drop down, rame, dili, may maka-entry of other data like PTA. Updated version. Updated version. Okay, we will discuss this one later. We will send you another Excel type. Ah, uh, latest system. Okay, sige lang. I uh, just follow through with uh, my presentation kay pareho pareho regit siya og uh, inyong i-input no. Na poy question ni Ma'am, by quarter gyapon i-reflect si partner if for example, first quarter siya naghatag. Yes, definitely kung Kung permit siya gahatag sa inyo ha, i-reflect na po ninyo siya sa April, second quarter. Third quarter, i-reflect, i-reflect na po ninyo. This is for the question of Sir Romel uh, Mata. Okay. Ang ibutang sa remarks, again, if nag-click mo others, then definitely you can put it in the remarks if wala siya na available sa drop-down menu. Okay? Ano lang guys ha? Pag others ganin yung give click, that's the time you can input in the remarks section. If wala sa drop-down menu ang inyong giselect na partner or specific partner type. So, contribution type naman, kung nadi sa inyong column, um, mauna din siya magawas, no? And then next will be the specific contribution type. So, again, nagya po sa drop down menu ninyo diha, kindly discover na lang, uh, if it, whether it's in air conditioning unit, CCTV, or basic DRR equipment. Kanisya guys, gibenchmark yun na base, based on the pilot testing of the school. So, Halos lahat gyud ng problem sa school or lahat ng appliances nga mo apply sa schools na adin hi. Gawas ko na mo unique ka problems or unique nga donations. So basically lahat ng school sa Philippines is may ganito na mga uh, donations, di ba? Fans, fire alarm. Fire alarm kung actually nag nag nana ni sa inyong MOE eh. So, uh, basically, kung kulang paghihapon siya, so you can uh, make solicitations or uh, welcome donations from partners. Fire hose, gardening tools, gas stove, glassware, kitchenware, oven, radio science, laboratory equipment, uh, solar panels, sound system, sports equipment. So, kamo na mag-identify ani as the ASP coordinator. So, again, kung wala din sa drop-down menu, you can just select others. Uh, okay. Comment. Magbasa-basa na lang yung taani kay Pobre si Signal. Yes, definitely. We will be giving you the slides for this. And then, furniture. You have the armchairs, blackboards, teacher's table, window panels, and others. Kung wala sa drop-down menu. Alright. So, let's proceed. So, the partner's contribution, kung infrastructure naman, inyong iselect, drop-down menu will automatically generate this date, this information or this um, specific infrastructure supports, di ba? So, if it's for new classroom construction, click this one. Kung para sa classroom repair, click this one. Di ba? So, unsa pa man yung ipangita, nga igo na lang man mo mag-drop-down, Right? Drop down. If again, kung wala gihapon diri sa gi-identify, syarog wala gyud, di ba? Ah, unsa lugar gyud nga uh, donation? So again, click other repair and then specify in remarks. Okay. But if it belongs to either or to any of this uh, infrastructure, kindly select na lang the drop down eh, drop down menu for this. 
Okay. Next slide. Partner contribution pa rin. If you have selected naman the learner's school supplies and uniform, kindly select any of this. For example, na may uban nga gi, kung ano, diba, package na ay bag, school sup na ay, uh, na ay notebook. So, dito siya nabilong tanan sa school supplies. So, just select school supplies para uh, considered na na siya nga na ay notebook, na ay paper, na ay ball pen, na ay pen, na ay crayons, ano siya. If, if naman not, not, not available in the drop-down menu, just click others and then specify in the remarks section. Another type is this learner's wellness, health, and nutrition. So, dali lang, di ba, from the word health and nutrition, wellness. So, recently, we have um, given Milo. For example, nakadawat mo, Ana. So, pwede ninyo ibutan din sa wellness, health, and nutrition. Di ba? So, asa din ninyo iselect si Milo. Dali sa? Pwede sa feeding. Or pwede po siya sa other services and then just select a health a healthy drink health drink okay the next one is category if you have selected policy support okay so again mo pop up na po ni siyang drop down menu which are the training skills development for the teaching and non-teaching personnel or pwede po siya nga teaching and learning aids and devices or is it for the wellness of the teachers or the non-teaching personnel? If again, not in the drop-down menu, just select others and then input in the remarks section. Okay. Uh, Ma'am and sir, uh, again, later we will give to you the attendance sheet. Okay. Kung wala galing sa drop-down menu, again, you can put in the others. Diba? Kung wala diya sa yung drop-down menu. And then, remarks. If you have selected naman the top not technology, if uh, your partner has donated for technology, so, again, mo pop up kung saan siya, diba? Computer, computer peripherals, DVD player, CD, e-books, e-channel, Fax machine, flash drive, internet connectivity, iPad, tablets, laptops, LCD projector, photocopier, printer, scanner, and so on. If again, wala. Siya, di has a drop-down menu, select others. Diba? So, again, drop-down, drop-down lang ta. If not available, go to the others and then specify in the remarks. If naman, you have selected the use of facilities. So, di rin ni come in si... Volunteer, di ba? So, namin gito mga volunteer, mga uh, hero, superhero sa atong uh, community or sa atong school. So, di rin na come in si volunteer hours. Di ba? So, kung nag siya, nag siya, pwede siya ninyo i-click sa carpentry. Kung nag siya sa inyong mga electrical, electronics, pwede po siya nagbasok, nagbasok, di ba? So, pwede siya sa landscaping or gardening. And then, masonry, kung nag something to do with masonry, Plumbing naman, if for the water facilities or ka na inyohang uh, washing, washing facility na ka na nag ibutan nyo sa yung gate before mo enter si uh, any of the visitors, di ba, for a protocol for ITF or basit nagpintal siya or basit for the ordinary lang na labor or if, if ever wala na bilong din ha. Okay, nag nagsugusog, gisugo lang o palit-palit. So, pwede siya diya sa others and then specify in the remarks and then for this will be applied for the senior high schools kung nag donate ang partner for the work immersion so just select down academic ba siya na belong sa tvl sa sports ba siya na belong or sa arts and design again if not in the drop down menu Type in the others and then put it in the remarks section. So, let's proceed now to the... Oh, the Sorry guys, I have to ask technical assistance from our ICT. Mm. 
Okay, so um, nana tadi ring na section, so we will have the partners contribution. So basically, guys, akong gibuat dari is nag discuss lang ko sa inyo on sa ang content ana ng Excel. Okay. If ever nga dilit ta pareha og columns pare-pareha na magud siya siguro siya di ba if ever nag-update lang siguro ang atong system. So partners contribution, unit of contribution. So ano ito sa so, unit by which the partners contribution is measured? Di ba? Pwede siya piece, pwede siya set, pwede unit or money, amount of money, activities attended, etc. If quantity naman ang pag-uusapan, number of units that the partner contributed, if the, con the partner contributed 5 pieces of um, floor wax na can, so pwede, pwede diha, or uh, amount of money, actual, the next one will be actual amount or value of contribution in pesos. So, if it is not in pesos, Kindly convert it na lang to actual amount in peso. And then the number of beneficiary students. So, for example, the partner has donated only for the grade 1. So, yun, yun, yun lang yung number of students who have benefited from that partner. Dili siya pwede nga i-generalize grade 1 to grade 6 ng enrollment or all enrollment na yung i-capture para walay samok. So, again, dili man siya contest, di ba? This is for your own good. So, kamo gid ang mag-capture ani. Kato lang gid ang grade 1 na number of students ang i-capture. And then the number of beneficiary personnel, number of teaching and or non-teaching personnel that benefited from the partner's contribution naman if the donation is intended for the teaching and non-teaching personnel. Okay, if hindi para sa kanila, then can just kindly put zero. Okay, next slide. We will be talking about the partnership agreement. So, usual na magini sa itong school, no? So, form of agreement, document by which the partnership was formalized. Diba? If it is a donation which was uh, agreed through verbal lang or basi nag, uh, nag talk lang mo over a cup of tea or over if boys naman over a bottle of beer, pwede po na siya, diba? Pwede man siya partnership, diba? So, dili na siya pwede. So, dapat, after which, uh, mag-create mo o form of agreement. Dili, dili si part na inyo ha, dapat it will come from you. So, me, it could be memorandum of, agree, memorandum of agreement. Kung dinago siya, memorandum of understanding. Uh, usually, magagamit ang memorandum of understanding if ipapagamit yung uh, lot for the school to be used. Deed of donation, usually kanilang din ang deed of donation kung ginagmay lang ang mga donations. Use of fract also for the lot, di ba? Pwede po siya sa 50 years nga pwede magamit ang, ang iyahang lote for the school. No signed agreement. Kung no signed agreement, then specify in others. Okay. Okay, if it, it, if it is in the form of project proposal, just kindly click others and then put it in the remarks section, uh, project proposal. Okay, next. I have a comment of ganina nga question, so maybe delayed good ang signal, Ani. Anyway. Yeah, 30 seconds. Okay lang, just comment down, so mabasa lang namo ta na yung mga uh, comments and then questions and queries and then let's proceed to the agreement start date so what date did you start for that agreement and then agreement the end to date so pwede siya nga one day agreement pwede siya nga one month agreement pwede siya nga one year agreement ano siya so depende sa inyong agreement signatory name name of signatory of agreement from the partner organization so delete ni kamuha this uh, signatory name will be from your partner organization meaning nagkasinabot mo and then signatory designation on sa siya kung individual lang siya individual wala lang siya and a lang siya but if na siya specific na position then just kindly put in the signatory din project category category of each project pwede siya for brigada 
and then pwede po siya for others. If it's not for brigada, then dito siya mabilang sa adapt a school. Anak na magigit siya, di ba? Brigada, eskwela, or adapt a school. Project name, so project name will be named by you. Um, nalang ko yung tip ihatag, if, if ever, inyuhan ng innovation nga project name, or sa inyong principal, or maybe ikaw nga teacher, gusto ka nga, uh, I know uh, all of us are aiming for promotion, so of course, you can use this one as your innovation. So again, project proposal is a very good one, na inyong magamit for your innovation uh, with attachments, di ba, your accomplishment report, with your, base, maybe na based on your research, mani mong findings, and then nakakreate kag innovation, and then from that innovation, nakakreate ka o Naka-generate ka og resources through partnership agreements. So, daghan imong pwede maggamitan ani. Dili lang ka nakatabang sa imuhang mga pupil, sa imong uh, community, kundi para po sa imong professional growth. And then, status of agreement or project, pwede ni may butang diha, um, ongoing, ana siya, or completed, pwede or for implementation, or kanang giplanuhan pa lang ni mo proposal, so, kanila ang tulo atong pilihan, no? so, completed, ongoing, or for implementation. Remarks, relevant information that may affect the project or partnership, or entry for other data, field options. Okay, so, I guess, you have already the, the, for a while, ha? So, again, guys, um, that ends with the basic orientation for the DepEd Partnership Database System. So, daghan patag, isurayang yung topic, but usually the topics that I have discussed to you, kung unsa to siya, may, ako lang siyang gi- Himay-himay, isa-isa, kada details, kada drop-down menu, para di lang mo ma-confuse. Okay? So, again, it is very essential for you to report in the division office. Ang atong senior educational program specialist, which is my immediate head, uh, Dr. Roland Samuoy, which is also the adapt a school coordinator and the Brigada Escuela coordinator, wala siya current because of the uh, other tasks. Uh, deemed by this office, by the RSTS, uh, but uh, he has um, relayed to me that all schools should coordinate with the division office. Okay? With this, um, with this kanang platform, online platform, now we will be able to fast track kinsa tunga mga schools ang kaninaki coordinate gets sa division office, no? So, again, we are chain system, manta, di ba? School to the district, school to the division, partnership focal person. Kasi wala tayong district partnership focal person, di ba? Diretso school, that's why diretso nato school. Para nga makapture yun natin ang mga partnership or donations uh, which are given, which was given to you by your um, donors or sponsors. Okay. Ang uh, dili lang siya tama sa uh, donations kun dili until pa na siya sa um, during the end of the year di ba maghatag ang uban sa mga um, any programs or kaneng um, any activities that would uh, give credit to their uh, donation di ba so pwede mo maghatag certificate or appreciation or pwede po siya nga letter lang Pwede po mo maghatag lang og report, accomplishment report, and ang partner. Kaya dili mo tatama na sa kuha lang tag kwarta, and then wala tayo gihatag na transparency. Giyon sa nato yung kwarta, di ba? So, it should be nga transparent ta sa atong mga partner so that ganahan sila mag uh, support for me sa school. Di ba? So, maybe next year, next, next, next school year, ganahan pa sila more support from your school because they have seen the... Uh, Effect, di ba, sa ilang gidonate for your school. Okay, anak lang. So, if you have questions for the template, katulad man ta, nagka-problema sa akong column, dili, pareha sa inyong column, di ba? So, updated na to siya nga katong Excel type. Alright? 
So, mag-communicate lang ta after siguro ani because uh, we will be having your names, di ba? So, we will be creating group chat maybe for the focal persons for this online orientation for the DepEd partnership. Alright, so thank you so much and once again, good morning. And once again, guys, let's welcome Sir Darrell Macario, our ICT coordinator, to further discuss to us topics from this online orientation. All right. Uh, thank you so much, from Gay. Kumusta? Uh, okay, ra? Information overload. Uh, before we uh, proceed further, no, uh, let's take a, a even a five-minute break. Okay. Uh, after five minutes, uh, I will discuss on how to upload the template, katong Excel template nga inyo hangi give it out and as discussed by Mam Gay. Okay, so let's take a five minute break. Thank you. Nang sa Miklab ang kiyara sa Marawi, maraming buhay at kabuhayan ang nawala. Maraming kabuhayan at paaralan ang napinsala. Sa kabila ng matinding suliranin, naging matagumpay ang DepEd na mabigyan ang mga mag-aaral ng pagkakataong ipagpatuloy ang edukasyon at muling bumangon sa sitwasyon. Habang naghihintay sa pagkumpuni at pagsasaayos ng mga paaralan, nagkaloob ang DepEd ng mga temporary learning shelters, remedial classes, learning kits, at feeding programs para sa mga displaced learners. Nabigla ang lahat sa pag-alboruto ng Bulkang Taal. Libo-libong pamilya, kabilang ang mga guro at mag-aaral, ang nawalan ng tirahan at mga ari-arian. Mabilis ang naging tugon ng DepEd upang makapagpatuloy sa pag-aaral ang mga apektadong mag-aaral. Sinikap ng mga guro na turuan ang mga mag-aaral na pansamantalang tumuloy sa evacuation center. Tumama sa bansa ang COVID-19 pandemic dahilan upang maantala ang normal na dalay ng pamumuhay at trabaho sa lahat ng sektor kabilang na ang kagawaran ng edukasyon. Nang ipatupad ang Luzon Lockdown, inilunsad ang Dapid Commons upang tuloy ang pagkatuto ng mga learners habang nasa bahay. Sa kabila ng mabigat na hamon sa ilalim ng new normal, patuloy na nagpunyagi ang DepEd upang maghanap at maghatid ng mga alternatibong pamamaraan upang magpatuloy ang edukasyon sa pinakaligtas at pinakaangkop na paraan. Sa ilalim ng Learning Continuity Plan, layunin ng DepEd na magpatuloy ang edukasyon ng hindi nakokompromiso ang kapakanan at kalusugan ng mga guro at mag-aaral. Isusulong ng DepEd ang tatlong pangunahing layunin ang COP na proteksyon, kaugnay ng mga health standards at safety protocols para sa ligtas na school year. Patuloy na edukasyon sa pamamagitan ng blended learning, distance learning at homeschooling na angkop sa kapasidad ng bawat mag-aaral at mabisang aksyon sa pakikipagtulungan sa lokal na pamahalaan at mga partner organizations upang maihatid ang dekalidad ng edukasyon para sa lahat. Bawat DepEd Division ay bumuo rin ng sarili nilang Learning Continuity Plan upang gabayan ang mga guro, mga magulang at mga mag-aaral sa bagong pamamaraan ng pag-aaral gamit ang online, modular at TV and radio-based instructions. 
gamit ang iba't ibang learning modalities, nagdaos ng dry run ang mga paaralan sa iba't ibang bahagi ng bansa. Katuwang ang mga local government units at mga education partners upang maging handa sa bagong sistema ng edukasyon. Isinagawa rin ang mga pagsasanay at orientasyon sa mga magulang upang maging epektibong katuwang sa pag-aaral ng kanilang mga anak. Sa anumang hamon o sitwasyon, handa ang depen. Handang kumilos, handang tumugon, at handang magserbisyo. Ang dami ng mga pagsusubok at challenges ang naharap at napagtagumpayan ng ating Department of Education. Tuwing may pagsusubok, priority palagi natin ang ating learners at ang ating mga teachers sa tulong ng parents at saka partners at ang buong bansa. Ngayon, sa hinaharap natin itong new normal na sinasabi nila, matatag ang ating kagawaran, matatag ang DepEd, dahil pinagtibay na tayo ng panahon, kayang-kaya natin ito sa tulong ninyo. Ayaw pa rin mag-school ng friend kong si Brian kasi daw may COVID pa. Ano namang sinabi mo sa kanya? Ako. Ang sabi ko po, hindi naman po talaga papasok sa school eh. Sa bahay lang mag-aaral na hanggat may COVID pa. Ano namang sagot niya? Tapos sabi niya, Paano daw mag-aaral sa bahay e wala namang teacher sa bahay? E di ba nga, Lola? Ano nga ulit nung tawag doon sa hindi naman papasok sa school pero mag-aaral pa rin? Apo, ang tawag niyan ay distance learning. Yun nga po, mag-aaral pa rin kami gamit ng computer. Di ba, Lola? Oo, pero bukod sa online, may mga lessons din na ipapalabas sa TV at radio para makapag-aral pa rin ang mga bata kahit wala kayong computer at internet. Ah, eh paano po kapag wala rin TV at radio? May ipamimigay na mga printed material ang mga teachers sa inyo. Di ba po ang tawag dun eh? Blend. Blend. Apo, blended learning. Ibig sabihin ng blended learning ay gagamitin ang iba't ibang pamamaraan ng pagtuturo gamit ang internet, ang TV, radio, at ang print para hindi kailangang pumunta sa school ng mga teachers at mga bata. Ah, kaya po pala si Teacher Rose hindi na rin kailangang pumasok na. School. Tama, hindi na rin papasok ang mga teachers sa school para gagabayan pa rin nila kayo at laging tatawagan ang mga magulang para kukumustahin ang pag-aaral ng mga bata tulad mo. Tumawag nga po si Teacher Rose sa nanay. Ang sabi niya, mag-download ng DepEd comments sa cellphone eh. Games ba yun, Lola? Um, may kasama din games. Pero... Yung may matutunan ka. May mga lessons din kasi sa DepEd Commons na pwedeng gamitin ng mga magulang at teachers para maturuan ang mga bata. Sasabihin ko din po kay Brian na mag-download siya ng DepEd Commons. At sabihin mo rin sa kanya 
na huwag na siyang matakot mag-school dahil sa pasukan sa bahay lang naman kayo mag-aaral gamit ang internet kung walang internet TV kung walang TV radio at kung walang radio ay print Oo nga po Lola hindi naman po pala dapat huminto sa pag-aaral kahit may COVID eh Magtutulungan kami para magpatuloy ang edukasyon. Okay. Uh, so this time, uh, we will now tackle on how to upload your template. Okay. So as I've said earlier, ang pag-fill out sa template uh, not necessary nga uh, online mo since uh, it is an Excel file. So pwede ra siya nga uh, wala mo internet connection. But when we upload the template sa ato ang system, of course, since online mo siya ng system, So, we need to have an internet connectivity para magamit nato ang DPDS. Okay, so, how to upload our system? So, of course, number one, uh, <clears throat> log, log in mo again sa ato ang link using your username and your password. Okay, and after that, you click the school management, then upload template. Okay. Kani siya. And then, <clears throat> choose file. Okay, so it's very important, no? As I've said earlier, nga atong i-rename ang ato ang file before nato siya i-upload. Nga nung ato mang dapat i-rename. So that, ma-determine nato nga kani siya nga Excel file is for the first quarter, kani siya for the second quarter, kani siya for the third quarter, and kani siya for the fourth quarter. Okay, para dili ta malibog. Right, so uh, I think na follow man ninyo no katong ato ang naming convention sa pag pag rename sa ato ang file. So very important before uploading your template file, make sure nga inyuhan na siyang na rename. Alright? <clears throat> And caution also no, uh, once lang ta pwede mag-upload sa ato ang template file. For that Of course, for that certain quarter. Example, uh, nata sa fourth quarter ka ron, So, dili ta pwede kaduha mag-upload o template file for the fourth quarter. Okay, so, make sure before you attempt to upload the report for that certain quarter, make sure nga ang tanan entries sa tuang file, uh, correct na siya o wala na dapat nga i-update. Okay, so, we actually he have here a question from Sir Rod Hiramis ganina, no? Kung unsa ba daw nga quarter ang i-upload karon sa atuang pagsugod sa DPDS. So we agreed with uh, Ma'am Gay uh, since this is the uh, initial launching of the system. So I we decided or we have come up nga it is right lang nga ang content sa tuang i-upload for the fourth quarter is katong magsugod sa January up to December. Because uh, we have to capture katong katong report na to, especially during the Brigada Escuela. Okay, so kato siya. So, para ma-uniform tatanan, whole bukid nun, uh, ang i-upload ninyo for the fourth quarter is katong, and, uh, katong mga partners ninyo from January to December. Okay, para ma-initialize ma na to ang ato ang system, ang ihang sulod. But, for the next quarter, That school year, uh, that's next year, 2021, ang inyong i-upload for the first quarter is only katong inyong data for the partnership data 
from January up to March. So that's the data ngayon yung i-upload for the first quarter. But again, for this fourth quarter of 2020, uh, you include or you capture katong uh, inyong partnership data from January until December 2020. So I hope uh, we are clear with that. Okay, so going back, uh, you have to, of course, you have to locate for the file. Pag-click ninyo aning choose file, uh, you have to locate for the Excel file. And then you click open. Okay, the file manager will appear. Select the file to be uploaded in the system. Okay, kanisha. And then click on the submit button, the, the green one, kanang nasa lower left. Okay, so again, uh, before clicking the submit button, make sure nga wala na uh, erroneous data sa inyong Excel file na gina upload. Okay, so after ninyo ma upload. Uh, ma, 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 mag prompt din ng system nga data has been uploaded successfully okay so another qu uh, query here from ma'am glendy olis sir na may bago nga school id ka integrated school na may pero among account kay elementary school pag hihapon okay unsa nga school id among gamiton para sa file name and old or new na okay ma'am for those cases nga elementary school na na-convert na siya into integrated school, ang inyuhang gamiton nga school ID na is kato nang sa integrated school. Okay? And then what you gonna do is, uh, you will send us an email, me or Mam Gay, so that we can update inyuhang entry or inyuhang school data sa ato ang system nga from elementary school, we will change that into uh, integrated school. Kay para integrated school. Kay integrated school naman po, yun mo karan. Okay? So, Napay question uh, for those nag uh, nag nag raise sa ilang concern regarding the incorrect email and password from the Excel file nga atong gi-share gan ganina pag start na to ah uh, uh, what you gonna do is <clears throat> make sure nga wala mo na typo error so inyong buhaton i-copy paste ninyo from Excel i-copy ang password dito sa login form sa DPDS if incorrect gihapon then that's the time uh, you will send us an email requesting for a password reset. Okay. So, para na siya sa katong mga dili makalagin. Okay. For katong daghan nag question ganina on sa link sudlan para maka-download og template. Again, uh, we would like to clarify nga wala tay link para maka-download ang template. Okay? There's no such thing a uh, uh, link for the template but ang inyong buhaton para maka-download mo sa template is you have to log in your school account dito sa ato ang PD, DPDS nga system then add in dito download template para maka-download mo sa inyong template okay so any more uh uh, I would like to emphasize the ay katong sa school type ata to ganina or school classification. Uh, for for secondary schools, uh, nga nag-offer both junior high school and senior high school. Okay, so you just put there uh, GHS slash SHS. Okay, again, for those schools nga nag-offer, secondary schools nga nag-offer both junior high school and senior high school, uh, you put there sa school classification ata to siya uh, GHS slash SHS kay para ma-capture both junior or senior high school kay again as i've said earlier ang system na to uh, mag mag require siya og only one account per school may it be uh, junior high school senior high school elementary or integrated school one account per school la ginta all right so moving on so, if you have successfully uploaded your template file, a pop-up message will appear upon successful uploading of the PDS. Okay, and then after that, uh, you click OK. Sige. So, this time, uh, I will now discuss to you on what are the different reports nga ma-generate sa atong DPDS. Nga nung nag-DPDS man ta. Okay, what's the essence? Unsa may pulos, dugang-dugang na sa itong trabaho. No? Actually, uh, gibuhat ni siya ang DPDS first and foremost for easy consolidation sa toang report. Okay? So, dili man lang siguro sa sa brigada or sa partnership nga aspect no, even sa uban sa aspect sa toa, sa toang uh, school system, uh, 
daghan tag mga reports nga ginakuha uh, and most of the time ang mga data nga ginakuha is gana, ginabalik-balik okay nag-report nag-submit naman may ani sa una then gipangayo na pod karon yan na bitaw nga mga cases so one of the initiative nga nung gi create ning DPDS for easy consolidation of reports ano man because your reports nga inyong isubmit per quarter will be automatically consolidated for the division office, regional office, or central office nga consumption. Meaning, we only have one single source of truth when we talk about the Fed partnership. Of course, dito lang ta magtanaw diretsya sa ito ang DPDS nga ito ang online system. Okay? So, how to generate reports? Of course, uh, you have to log in sa inyong account. You have to log in. And then, uh, you will see here the dashboard. Okay, sa ato ang dashboard, uh, automatic na siya mag-populate based sa inyong gi-upload nga template. So, we have here number of partners and total amount generated. Okay, so kani siya nga level is for the school level. Okay, so makita sa school kung pila na ka uh, partners ang na, nabuhat ni, ang na, na, na report niya o pila po ang total amount generated nga na report dito sa atong system. Aha, ni siya gikan nga mga data? Of course, it came from the Excel file nga inyong gi-upload. Katong inyong gi-populate, then inyong gi-upload sa system. Automatic siya mag-consolidate kung pila inyong number of partners o pila inyong total amount generated. Okay? So, we also have here for the division office nga view. Kat kani siya, kaning previous slide, is this is the school. School view. For the division office nga view, add uh, to be manned, of course, by our Senior Education Program Specialist for Social Mobilization and Networking and also with our Education Program Specialist too. Uh, Moni ang makita ni Dr. Rollins o ni Ma'am Gay. The dashboard of the Division of Bukidnon. Okay? Number of partners, pila, consolidated as a division. Total amount generated, consolidated as a division. And then, number of schools with submission. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about kanina, katong gi-heads up tamo ganina, nga na makita na mo diretsyo diri sa office kung pila ka schools na ang nag-submit out of kanina school. Okay, so we can easily call your attention. Maybe if dili mo mag-comply, we will send a office memorandum for you to comply nga mag-submit na mo sa inyong DPDS for that certain quarter. Because sa atua, sa Sa division office nga dashboard, makita na to, dito ang number of schools with submission. Okay, then we will uh, subtract that with total number of schools. Makita din dito ang numbers of schools without submission. Of course, for that certain quarter. Okay, so that's for that's for the dashboard nga ato ang view. Uh, for the reports, okay, uh, you can also generate uh, reports dito sa inyong level. Okay, so... What's in your screen right now is the school level nga, nga dashboard, uh, I mean school level nga view for reports. So we have here a uh, year, unsa nga year, unsa nga quarter, okay? And then unsa name sa partner, unsa partner type o contribution type. When you click search, mugawas dai na siya ang details about ana inyo ang search. Okay? So we can also uh, have here a school level uh, view on the summary of contribution. Okay? So, pag select lang ninyo unsa nga school, unsa nga year o unsa nga quarter, okay? For the summary of contribution, mugawas day na siya diretso. Okay? So, if for example, 2020, fourth quarter, pag click ninyo og submit, mugawas diretso ang summary of contribution. Uh, Nakatable siya nga form, tabular form, na dito ang contribution type the number of partners, the actual amount or value of contribution in pesos, and number of beneficiary learners. Remember, kaninga mga data ganina, these are the data that you have fed or you have encoded dito sa to ang Excel file. Katong inyo hanggi upload. Okay? Ang gibuhat sa system is gipang call out lang niya katong mga uh, relevant data para kaning sa summary of contributions nga report. Okay? So, uh, for the reporting guidelines, okay, so I have discussed this na earlier. Uh, again, for the quarter 1, that's March 25. For quarter 2, June 25. 
quarter 3, uh, September 25, then quarter 4, December 25. Okay, but for this quarter 4, uh, para ma-uniform ang tanan, uh, you have to include uh, uh, inyuhang partnership data from January to December since gina-initialize pa man ang system. But again, for the next school year, January to March na lang ang inyuhang i-include in for quarter 1. Okay, so let me go back sa ang comment box. Na pa yung mga question. So if you have question, no? Uh, again, system will be locked on 28th day of last month of every quarter. Okay, so if you have questions and uh, clarification, okay, so kindly type now sa ang comment box. Uh, we still have 50 more minutes before 12 noon. So this time we will now give the floor for our question and answer. Okay, so please use our our comment box for your questions and we will do our best to answer your questions. Okay, so we have actually here with me, Ma'am Gay, para ma-address ang yung questions. So you may now type your questions at ang comment box. Okay, uh, naandiri kang Ma'am Lenny about sa newest version sa template, sir. Okay, katong 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 gi-discuss ni Ma'am Gay ganina, uh, katong naka-PowerPoint is uh, delete siya ang updated updated version sa template. Okay? Uh, you may have noticed kanang inyong gi-download karon gikan sa system mismo, naa siya yung mga slight differences. But uh, uh, definitely 90% or 95% sa content sa katong gi-discuss ni Ma'am Gay, uh, captured na siya dira. Na lang siya yung mga 5% siguro nga discrepancy. Because kanang inyong download garon is that is the updated version sa template which is kana dapat ang inyong gamiton pag encode o upload. Okay? Uh, yes, Sir Romel, for the creation of school account, uh, kindly send us an email request lang so we can reply you with your username and password. Okay? Aha, makita, sir, sa kada school, late na kasulod. <laughs> okay? Si Ma'am Toings, Toings, Toings. <laughs> toings, Toings. Okay. Ma'am, sir, Toings, Toings, Toings. Uh, kindly review na lang ang ato ang uh, video, no? Uh, after sa ato ang live feed, uh, pwede ninyo i-play, uh, i-replay ang ato ang uh, live stream. Okay? Para na dito makita ninyo ang link for the username and password. Okay? Sir, good day when on deadline for 2020. Okay. Ah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Elwell Batong Hinog uh, as discussed earlier for uh fourth quarter of 2020, uh, the deadline is December 25. And on the December 28, the system will be locked na dayon. Meaning uh, you cannot uh, use or access the system after 28. Okay na. Uh -oh. uh, okay na siya na. Wala. Sige lang, mga Okay, so um, by the way, no, nalang ko i very important uh, di information nga uh, i-feed sa inyo, ha, no? So, since this is a DepEd partnership database system, meaning partners lang ng DepEd, for example, naghatag sa inyo o uh, donation, basig inyong ma, kuan ba, ma-mix ninyo ang DepEd, DepEd sponsored. Like, for example, kan ang BEFF or Basic Education Facilities, so, kanis siya, kung naaganig i-construct sa inyong building, kung DPWH ang nag-construct, meaning, kana nga building is from DepEd. Dili na to siya pwede i-appeal sa partnership. Alright? Or, bisan sa brigada, dili na to siya pwede i-appeal sa brigada nga. Kung ano sa'yo, matingalat ang anong 3 million, 5 million ilahang generated resources, di ay, kay tungod to sa DepEd, sa gihatag nga, construction sa DepEd. So, delete na to siya, guys. Pwede i-capture sa partnership. Again, partnership lang ni siya. Okay? So, kung DepEd siya nga project, like for example, i-construct sa DP, DPWH, so, delete na to siya. Pwede i-capture. Another example is, kanin kang Ma'am Ivy Perlisandro, kanin DRRM, kung, gan, kung gikan siya diha nga mga fund, ang atong clue, nga gikan siya sa DepEd gihapon nga fund is 
ang nag-construct ay na is um, division office. Okay? So, ang kung, kung quick response siya nga ka ng fund, dili gya po na to siya pwede i-capture. So, kanat lang guys, kung depend gano'n siya nga gihatag, or gikan sa MOOE, or gikan sa BEFF, or constructed by DP, or gikan sa quick response team, or gikan sa DRM, or basta anything nga gikan sa DepEd, dili na to siya pwede i-capture. Alright? Kana na gyud siya din. Atong drop down menu makita man nato dito nga wala gyud siya DepEd, di ba? So kung gikan lang siya dapat tanan sa mga partners. Alright. Okay. Thank you so much Ma'am Gay. Uh, we also have here a question, no? Uh Maka-as daw sa soft copy sa slides. Okay, later on with our uh, very last nga slide, na dito ang download link for the PowerPoint. Okay, so you can actually download it para ma-review -ma ninyo ang atuang orientation karon. Okay? Yes, yes sir, Mama Rife, pwede. Dow just download the slide. Okay? Na ipoy na toy question ganina, what will happen sir if kaduhan nila ma-upload ang ang Sir, what will happen if we upload the template twice? Okay? So, ang, bu ang buhaton sa system, pag mag-upload mo og template twice, katong una ninyo gi-upload lang ang iyang basahon. Okay? Meaning, bisan pag katulo, kalima mo mag-upload, katulang una ninyo gi-upload ang ma-valid nga report for that certain quarter. Okay? So, make sure um, before ninyo i-upload, as I've said again and again, Uh, before ninyo i-upload ang inyong template file, dapat wala na na siya error. Okay? Uh, okay, thank you po sa tanan. Thank you. On-site arrangement sa pag-encode sa data, sir. Pwede rin ni... Ah, pwede rin na siya in any order. Okay, there's no specific order. Okay, as long as captured tanan ang ato ang partners. Partners, partners. Okay, there's no specific order yung ato i-follow. Ah. Wala naman siguro. <laughs> okay, so I guess Ma'am Gay, uh, I think this is for you. How about Ma'am Katong Best Tank nagikan sa DPWH? Best Tank daw Ma'am Gay. DP? Mhm. -mm. Gikan kang Ma'am Australia. I think kani siya kanang uh, kindly si uh, kindly check ma'am ma'am Australia agabe if that best dunk is basic package siya sa DepEd kung package man good kung appeal na siya sa buildings dili na to siya pwede i-report alright kindly check kung unsay package ma'am kay usay kay ang best dunk kay i-package siya kauban sa construction of the building Yes. Okay. So we also have here from Ma'am Edna Sir Dar from January to December ang date na submit before December 25th. Yes, Ma'am, uh, as discussed earlier, ang fourth quarter na to ang atong i-capture is katong from January to December para ma-initialize na to ang atong system. Okay, uh, na po dere uh, sa to. Sa newest version among na-download ganina sa specific contribution type kay walay drop down walay gagawas kung i-click okay so we actually have different types of uh, fields no so kung wala siya drop down so meaning ana pwede mo magbutang og any entry nga applicable para ana nga field okay kay basin na update na ni siya mao na ni siya ang latest version okay oo uh -oh. pwede pod others na lang dayon kung wala okay kani ma'am gay From Ma'am Jinky Cigarino. Ma'am Jinky Cigarino, can you construction of one building, two classrooms from province of Bukidnan? Pwede, yeah, pwede na siya makapture, ma'am. Okay, that is from the uh, province of Bukidnan. Mo na siya ang project sa um, ang governor sa Bire. Pwede na to siya i-capture, ma'am. Okay, dili man na siya DepEd. Okay. Uh, from Neji, from... Nyunungnungan, gusto nila i-change our school name from San Nicolas Annex to San Nicolas National High School. Alright, ma'am, uh, as discussed, 
uh, kindly send us an email requesting for a uh, school info updating. Okay, kindly send us an email. Na dire sa inyong screen ang among email. Okay, uh, from Ma'am Gay or Sakoa para ma-update na mo ang inyong name dito sa system. Alright. Uh, yes, Ma'am Marinesa. Pwede na to ma-replay, Ma'am, ang ato ang orientation. Okay, you just... Uh, a uh, visit again katong Dapat Bukid non Facebook page na to para ma-replay ninyo. Attendance. Okay? Attendance. Okay, later. Last slide. Kani siya, Ma'am Gay? Sir Jezom? Oo. Sir Jezom, hi sister. Good morning. Jezom Rosales here, sister. Manatol niya, no? <laughs> Sa San Vicente. I'd like to ask the distinction between a brigada coordinator and adapt a school coordinator. Thanks. Okay. If you are a brigada coordinator, specifically, you will work only for the brigada, brigada lang alone, di ba? If you, uh, some schools, mga good sir, yes, gimerge na niya, kay gamay man siya ng school. So, siya ang brigada, kay siya man ang nagunit sa mga donations o mga kaning manpower and other data, ang one school, automatically siya na po ng adapt as school coordinator. Because gamay na lang maidugang sa iyahang work, Diba? So, after the brigada, so, uh, after and before the brigada or brigada implementation, makapture niya ang adapt as school. So, ang uban, dito nila ibutang sa adapt, plus, adapt as school or brigada plus. So, pwede siya actually nga separate, kung big school mo, separate mga coordinator, or kung small school, pwede siya nga slash adapt as school slash brigada coordinator. So, case to case siya, Ma'am Gay, no? Mm -hmm. Kung dako nga school or gamay na school. Okay? I'll do, okay, from do, Sir Dong. Thank you po, Sir. Ang attendance, Sir, last slide. Okay? Para walay muhawa. <laughs> okay. Tanaw pa ta diri. Wala na. Mga building, Sir. Wala. Yatag sa province mo naman. Oh, na. Na. Well, what if wala ang partner name sa list? Others. Others. Okay. Yes. You put dito sa others. Eh, partner name? Sila may ma-identify. Ah, partner name. Oh. Ah, okay. So, dili siya drop down. Di, I know. Oh. Pwede from LGU daw? Pwede i-appeal ma'am gay? Pwede. Basta LGU. Oh. Pwede. Pwede. Basta LGU. School building Gikan province. Na-answer naman na ganina. Oo. Oh. How about sa computers and tablets? Okay, so kung DCP siya, yung mga computers, uh, of course, dili na nato na siya include Kaya that is part of a DepEd computerization program na to, nga project. Dili na na siya covered sa tuang partnership and linkages. Kaya that's one of our mandate sa DCP. Okay? Geo fund repair. Pwede ra? Okay, basta anything, uh, diligi ka sa DepEd. Uh -oh. Like LGU or province, pwede na ito siya i-appeal. Oo. Basta dili siya dapat uh, initiated ng mga mm -hmm. projects. Okay. Puro naman ni thank you. Ang uban, uh, balik na. What if person good ang nag-donate yung name ang ibutang sa general partner type? Individual. Individual. Naman uh -oh. dito, under others. Okay. Yes, kanang mga reso, basta, basta LGU. Okay, okay, ra. Okay? So, sir, kung magpasa mi og report ngayon, cover from September to 2020. Okay? Ma'am, uh, discuss earlier, ang first na ninyo nga i-submit is from January to December. So, you will capture that for the quarter 4. But for next year, January to March na lang for the quarter 1. Okay? So, I guess, wala na question. Okay, nanami sa pinakaubos. So, uh, if you have more clarifications and question, you can actually reach us, guys, through uh, jennifer.lonsayan001 at deped.gov.ph and daryl.macario at deped.gov.ph. So, just send us an email and we are very happy to assist you. Okay, so, for the much-awaited nga attendance link, so... For our attendance for today's orientation, 
uh, kindly visit bit.ly dpds i slash dpds attendance okay so uh, certificate of participation yes uh, it's very important nga inyohang ibutang ang inyohang deped emails sa ato ang attendance link and then very very important po nga dapat sakto nga deped email inyong ibutang meaning walay mga typo errors because your deped emails will be the one nga among sendan for your certificate of participation for this day's online orientation okay and also you can download this presentation uh, just visit that bit.ly backslash dpds book okay uh, you can download the uh, powerpoint presentation for this our online orientation okay so sige ma'am gay kana Okay. Sige. So, on sa paban. For other questions, guys, nga wala na uh -oh. answer, kindly PM na lang us on, email. Uh, us on our send us an uh, email. send us an email for your queries nga we have we were we were not able to answer uh -huh. some of your qu queries siguro no. So, kindly send us an email or uh -huh. if, if we are friends in facebook you can pm me directly okay so i guess uh that's the end of our uh, online orientation on deped partnerships database system so in behalf of our schools division superintendent uh, dr randolph bitortola and our two assistant schools division superintendents dr lanila m Pal palapar and dr odias boris uh, we would like to thank everyone for your very active participation in joining our first ever online orientation on DepEd Partnership Database System. Okay, Ma'am Gay, any last words, Ma'am Gay, para sa ang uh, participants? No last words, but we we wish to uh, commend everyone who ha, who, ha, who are here with us on the Facebook Live. Wala gyapon na kuan atong viewers, no? More good gyapon. Yes. So you uh, have stick to it. Uh, thank you so much. And then we will look forward to partner with you also on the partnership of your school so kana lang siya and then um attendance link see you on attendance link see you on the emails see you on the maybe we will create group chat further and then if this will continue maybe we will include um siguro mga palipay no for those who are consistent talaga yes. sa pag report Maybe on next year, we will include that one in our uh, activities. Okay. So, again, once again, thank you very much, everyone. And this is your Division IT Officer, Daryl Ray Macario. And this is Jennifer Gay, Lunsayan Rawan, your Education Program Specialist 2 for the Social Mobilization. Thank you. Bye-bye.